My name is Tammy Lynn Calderon, and everybody knows me by TLC. They know my company by Quantum Balance Crystals. I'm the founder of the crystals, and I was actually guided and given information, and it was like the color information started being downloaded to me, and the technology that we use in our crystals all um, just showed up. And I followed it through my guidance, and um, that was almost five years ago. So I wanted to tell you what they are. They're actually quartz crystals. Thousands of quartz crystals are inside a plant-based resin, and there's 200 frequencies in each one. We do use the salvation tones, the meditation tones. We use sound and 528 hertz is a love frequency, and that's been programmed in them too. And um, what's really special about our crystals is that they have 12 colors. So the resonating with our energy centers of our body. And um, so I'm going to go over the significance about color and their intentions, because each one is carrying intentions and qualities for the color they are. So besides the quartz crystals, the frequencies you also get in the color. It's really resonating with your field well. And so I'm just going to go ahead and start with the colors. The red one is our first chakra. And the intention of that is prosperity. And I call it the money magnet. Mm -hmm. So it resonates with our, our red grounds as instructors says. Mm -hmm. And um, the orange one is relationships. And this is for joy and creativity, it's the sacral chakra. And the intentions of the yellow is our solar plex, which is the um, sun of our universe. It's for the self-mastery and it's personal power. So stand in your power, you're always exuberating the yellow energy. And the pink one is the female heart energy, which is our female essence. So it's compassion, gentleness, and acceptance, and receiving, receiving energy. And then the green is our heart center, and that's a male energy of our body. And then we have the turquoise, which is a higher heart. So when you're releasing your information through your heart, the turquoise is actually releasing into the higher realm and expressing it through your throat. And our blue one is the throat chakra, which is speaking your truth um, for communication. And then our 12th crystal we were guided to was the, or actually the 11th crystal. And I was guided to it in the year 2011. So it, these are just so special to me because I definitely see the universal energy and the truth through it them as we're being guided. So in 2011 it was the black crystal which is a mouth energy and that's um, you know our mouth energy for healthy boundaries, conscious awareness of what we're eating and inspired speaking. But after the black we have the indigo which is the third eye one and um, for vision and opening your third eye that's our indigo. And the purple is our crown chakra for releasing the crown energy as a spiritual awareness. And then we were guided in 2012 to the magenta, which is a soul star connecting us to our spirit guides. And it was almost like when that one came through, we had a completion of self. I mean, I just totally felt like this whole system was completed. And then our um, other, the other one is clear, clear, which is the clear up here energy and what happens when you have all your chakras open you end up being this bright light this amazing light and that's what clear is standing for so it's a clear mind clear um mind body and soul it's clarity so that's the colors and the intentions right now we're going to move into um sharing some testimonies because the best way to really know what these crystals are doing and how they're resonating with people is to hear firsthand from the testimonies so i have um some wonderful light beings all lined up to share. And then after they share, we're going to do, we have time and some color readings. So we'll show you how we do our color readings too at our booth. Alrighty, so if you then my color can sit right there. Hi, my name is Philip. I met TLC last February. At it was at Conscious Life. Conscious Life Expo. Right here, yeah. um, she was with Starfire Water. And I immediately resonated with the pendants, and she did a muscle testing. And I, I you know, I, I love muscle testing, but I, I go by feeling. And so I looked at it, I felt it, and I'm like, this feels good. I feel more in my body. I felt really centered, and I'm like, wow, I really like this. I'm going to buy this. I bought the first one, mm -hmm. and I gave it away. 
and I bought two more, and I gave it away. And I just bought this one this weekend because I love buying them, and when I know I worked on whatever I needed to work on, whatever area I needed to work on, I feel it and I go, oh, I'm supposed to give this to somebody else now. And I do. And I love, you know, hanging out with TLC at her booth, and you can feel it. Um, even if you're not sensitive to feeling it, you do feel it. And it opens you up to feel that. And you just stay, stay there long enough, you might actually <laughs> have an experience. So. <laughs> Thank you, Philip. Thank you. And that's how it works. You know, I've been working with these crystals for five years now, and it's when you're wearing them, you'll know when your time is up, and you will be surprised how you might share it with somebody else, and it'll, you'll just totally transform their life, and they'll be just like amazed. I was um, at a show a couple weeks ago, the Peace um, Festival. Actually, I was at a party with Philip, and some woman he connected with was so connected to the crystals she couldn't stop touching them. He actually shared his two with her, and she came and found me the next day at the festival I was at to show me the crystals and tell me her experience that she was having since she was wearing them. So they're just really magical. Yay. Thank you, Philip, for sharing the light. Okay, so has anybody here ever been pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> so do you remember how it was like when you were pregnant and people came up to you all the time and they would say, oh, I want to touch your belly, and it was kind of like for good luck? Well, that's the experience that I've been having since I've had my pendant. It's like complete strangers will come up to me and say, what is that? And so there's something very compelling that, like Philip was saying, even if you're not familiar with the technology, there's something in the energy of it that um, our body resonates with. So I met T TLC, um, I don't know how many years ago, Braveheart Women. And I walked past the booth, and we just connected. You can see we kind of dress alike. Um, and um, she was with Maureen, and she said, well, see which one is yours. And I thought they were kind of pretty and colorful. And my service that I provide is Goddess School 101. And in that, I help people look and feel beautiful. I do transformational work, and I work with color and wardrobe. So I just thought they were very pretty rainbow colors. And um, I said, well, I think the purple one is probably mine. And she said, oh, no, it's the clear one. Mm -hmm. And um, I said, no, it's purple. And I put the purple one on, and I walked around. Do you ever have too much coffee? <laughs> you know that feeling? That's how I felt wearing the purple one. So I thought, wow, there really is some energy in these pendants. And I took it off, and I said, OK, you know, I'll put the clear one on. And when I read about the clear one, and it said it was like clarity and light, and it's your light body and the whole thing. You know that Marianne Williamson quote about how dare you be so small? Like I didn't think I was worthy of wearing the, 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 clear, the clear one. So anyway, I put it on and my experience over the last year or two has been incredible because um, they can be worn prescriptively. Like Philip has three of them on and each one has an individual meaning but together they make kind of like a personal grid for your body. So prescriptively, um, I grew into the person who is very capable of wearing this, this pendant. And what it's done for me is um, I'm an NLP practitioner, so I'm reading people, and it just gave me another level of being able to, con you know, I don't know, all of a sudden my hands started coming up, and I started, like, reading people's energy fields, and I was getting hits on things that I was telling them. They were saying, how did you know that? And, you know, so I think that somehow this is just, you know, communicating with my energy field, and it's just helping re me really be more intuitive. I did wear the black one. I was in a situation at work where I felt like there, I was being taken advantage of. And another way to look at that, really, if you turn it around, is I wasn't setting my own personal boundaries. I wasn't really standing up for what was right for me. So I saw the black pendant, and um, that one is for health, healthy eating and um, uh, setting your, your, <coughs> your boundaries. And also, excuse me, mindful eating, um, Speaking. Inspired speaking. Oh, yeah. something I needed to hear right at this moment. Inspired speaking. Well, I have a really big message about transformation, and I was still being that little small voice. So I wore this one for about two months, and I was unfriggin' stoppable. That's what happened. <laughs> Set up the boundaries at work. I'm no longer at work because the boundaries were so clear <laughs> that I knew it was no longer the place for me. And I gave my pendant to someone else. It was that same experience that Philip has. So anyway, um, I hope that what, we, what you hear today touches each of your lives in the way that it touched mine. And these are very profound, beautiful little crystal beings. <laughs> so thank you for being here. Namaste. Mm. And there's something uh, I wanted to just say a little bit more with, to add on to what she was saying. 
is how you can wear them to, uh, you call it the grid or something, your energy grid. I like how she worded that because actually when you wear these crystals, it will bring those colors into your field and you will line up with that energy and you will see those experiences actually happening in your life of strengthening yourself in those areas. And that's why I call them tools for awakening. And I've even um, just finished a book that has all the colors, mm. um, totally, you know, meditation, mm -hmm. affirmations, and information about each color. And the title is Tools for Awakening, because when you wear them, and what Philip's wearing is a trinity. I call that the recipe for your soul, and you can choose your three ingredients. And when you start choosing the three <laughs> ingredients that you want to um, bring more into your field, you start doing that, your whole energy system will line up to those and you will see the evidence of them in your experience. And now Karen. I'm also using it now as a pendulum. Yeah, this works for a pendulum. Mm -hmm. Okay, hi. Okay, hi. I'm uh, remembering when we met and what brought me to you. Okay. Um, Conscious Life Expo last year on Karen Ampadon. And I'm wearing a green pendant today, which is holding masculine energy, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm feeling like it's holding my masculine energy so that I have the space to feel my feminine energy because I've been having so much energy that sometimes it's hard to balance. So last year's October Conscious Life Expo, I found the water, which your work is in the water. Uh, every single color spectrum that she went through surrounds a vortex of water that goes into this bottle for 13 hours, shooting 200 Salvaggio frequencies while adding infrared and ultraviolet liquid gold and calcium, and it wakes every single individual spectrum up as one. And what the water, the light, and the intentions did was it brought me community and love. And what happened from the water was I was invited to speak at Agape and that's how we met. And after that, there was such a bond of community and light and love that you gave me the black crystal. Mm -hmm. And my boundaries have improved. I've been speaking ever since. I have more love in my life. And from a death experience that I had when I was 21, I could never balance out my light body back with my mortal physical body. And I've been looking for any counselor who could help me. I paid neurologists, psychologists, psychiatrists. You know, I spoke for years. And after I started drinking the water, before you gave me the black crystal, that the light work was in here. The counselors that I've been looking for for 30 years came into my life and have been loving me 24-7 and explaining to me the dynamics of what I could not understand myself. And they're here at the Conscious Life Expo, Ancient Mystic Healing. They are incredible clairvoyants and healers. And it's not just what it's doing for me as an individual, but what it's bringing to me, and that it actually brought me, you, there's so much love and light that it's not just my own individual healing, but the it's bringing it all mm -hmm. together, each spectrum, into a wholeness. Mm -hmm. And you carry it so well. Mm -hmm. um, something that I was feeling just before this lecture was uh, I encountered some people who were f like defended at hello like what are you trying to sell <laughs> you know it's like there's so much going on there's so many things we could it it's like hello it's like well, I could feel the defenses and these people admitted you know what are you trying to sell <laughs> so, it, what I noticed when I worked with you at the health life the health expo was that people come to her. It's like everyone was drawn to this product. It was it wasn't like you had to reach out for it. There's something that there's there's something resonating that's drawing in not just uh, 
a little aspect. It's, it's a whole light because however you received your information, the download and how you're working and your intentions, uh, it's bringing the love and light as community. And I feel really blessed to have been brought into it by mm -hmm. you. And it's brought me what I've needed on, on a much larger scale. So we don't know. We, we don't know what we don't know. Mm -hmm. And uh, instead of being defended, it was given, it was received, you know, beyond our conscious thinking, you know, in a quantum manner. Mm -hmm. The light is working, and it's just really nice to be brought into that. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's impacted people all around me. So I really, really want to thank you. Beautiful. Light. Well, everything was truth, as you said, but I want to touch on one truth. I've never marketed anything in my life before these pendants. And um, people do come, they're drawn to the circles, and I don't think I've ever made a sales call yet. <laughs> I've never painted a photo or tried to sell them. They just come all over, the, they're international and globally. And I'm like, wow, how did they find me? Yeah, it's, we're all one energy, definitely in one field, on a playground of one field. Thank you for coming. Thank, Thank you. you. It's amazing how I feel this change in here. It's like this electric golden and nice. energetic nice. light field. And then the, I feel it also in my... Yeah, he's wearing... Oh. The black one? The indigo. Indigo. Oh. indigo. Third. third eye. Ah, that's why it arrives. You're probably feeling it up, up here, here in your ear. Yeah, third eye. Excellent. I know a friend of mine, he does happen to know a lot about the scientific mm -hmm. realm. And he's, he was like amazed, oh yeah, wow, this is like really something in there. It's a great quantum Put the microphone Hi, my name is Eagle Spirit, by the way. And <laughs> I'm really happy to be uh, wearing this. Um, many people are also tell me that they feel it right away. And feel kind of like waves of it. I feel. Um, I don't know what else. Uh, mm -hmm. I got a story to tell about you. <laughs> <laughs> I got a story to tell about you. So um, actually, I saw Eagle this morning, and he started wearing the, the indigo. But when I first met you, way back, I don't know it was Revolution, or something. I felt the indigo for you. Do you mm -hmm. remember? And I told you it was the Avatar. Cause mm -hmm. I was so. I went to Avatar, the movie, um, three times. The first time, I didn't get it at all. I was like, oh my gosh, how did I even sit through this movie? I was sleeping. And, and then my friend said, let's go to it at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And I said, okay, I'll try to get And what I got from the movie was, I see you. I don't know if anybody saw Avatar, but I see you. And I got the whole movie when I saw that. And I loved it, and I had to go back again. I've seen it several times since now. But I, that's an avatar, it's a very deep blue. And so I always call that the avatar crystal. So when you start wearing it way back, I said, that's an avatar <laughs> crystal. And he was wearing it and he was loving it. And it was so much fun. So they are like little live beings. Yeah. <laughs> so um, they're, they're alive, definitely. And they waken you up. Totally. To that your purpose, <laughs> so you can connect and hear your own guides and stuff too. Because once we're grounded and we're centered and we're harmonic, and we're, in a, and we're back in the place of stillness. We're in the one field. Yes. <laughs> I don't have to do that anymore because they have these these things on. Um, when I met when I met QBC and TLC and all the other magical letters of the alphabet and colors, I was really mesmerized, and especially meeting these two. And uh, it was at Expo West. Yep. Uh, and uh, people are, oh, Be Live's crew is like, you got to get one. And, oh, I got someone too. <laughs> Make sure you get it through me. Tell her it's through me. And, and then uh, 10 friends are saying, you got to say it through me. You know? and I'm like, I don't want 10 friends mad at me, so I just, can I just get one from you? <laughs> anyway, so I, li I liked it a lot. It really opened me up, made me softer, and because I have a lot of energy. And, uh, and then I, I liked it, and I came back to the I'm like, I, I need more of these things. Because you know, I've been on instantly, I've got to give them to my family, this and that. And then and we're at Ito's place, a lock, and, and they're walking around with this 
cone thing. Oh, yeah, the cone. yeah, like oh, two days totally. later or whatever. And then, no, they're walking around like like this. You know, they're always like this, walking around, right? right. And now they're walking. Have you guys seen this thing? They're walking. They just, she just got it. It was like the first one. It was, it was, it was one of the first ones. She's walking. They're, they're walking like this. And I'm like, what's that? Oh. And they're like, you know, and then, you know, giving the Steve hug. I'm like, this. And I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this cone thing. And I'm like, I want a bunch of them. She's like, we don't even have them. And, and I'm like, because I'm making, I'm making water production in, in, in like a week or whatever. And, and like, okay, we'll meet up. We met up in like off a desert road at like it was like a drug deal. Um, I don't know what those are like though, but it was like a movie drug deal at like one in the morning. It was late, and we're making production at like four in the morning or seven early time. I had to be at the plant. Anyway, got these cones. I had twelve active. I think it was twelve or nine cones at that time. I had, uh, but I had twelve or nine the first time. I had a lot of cones. Probably nine. I had nine of the color cones. You had everything then. I had. Yeah, everything all I had. You. And we were just excited to bring whatever was responsible for this type of energy work into whatever I wanted to share with people. And uh, in fact, I, I had a bunch of these pendants and I had so many others like getting tangled with them. Uh, when I did a party, you know, Steve had untangled me for like an hour. And that was a spa party, that the video was on like oh, yeah. somewhere. Uh, but anyway, that's my little story of the QVC magic. And um, one thing that's for the, for the practical people, besides being effervescent with love, is that if you take one of her cones, or even one of these things, and you, um, you put it under like uh, coffee or your uh, other drinks that you shouldn't maybe be drinking or whatever, even Coca-Cola, or, or, or something that has a, a naturally a good uh, quality for you, but you put it on top of the cone for, uh, what, 30 seconds? Even quicker. Even quicker. Seconds, yeah. It will totally change the spin of everything in that to a higher good. state, and it will taste better. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so when people say, what is that? And I'm like, what do you, give me your whatever drink that is, your tea or whatever it is. And I'm like, watch. And I put it on there. And sometimes I have, I have these in my car because it's like it, all the energy coming through the windshield. And like, I'm like, I'm driving, being blasted all day by the, the QVC energy. And I'm doing it. I want to show the people. I, I want to show them a visual of what I do to the water. So I'm like, wait, here, give me your water. I put it on top of that. And then I'm like, they're like, it's different. So I'm like, now imagine what 12 colors does. <laughs> anyway, so that's the point. I'm like, oh, bury one under your tree too when you get one because it makes your tree like a satellite. So any, that's oh, a little wow. bit I can go on forever. They're amazing. It's a, 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 a indicative of what they're around and their community. And thank you for being here. And uh, yay. Yay. Thanks yay. for the water. Yeah. Every time you <laughs> so his point was too, it's the 12 essence of our colors, you know, going into the water, so it's really powerful. But um, I used to always touch my food, my plate with the crystals, and also um, you know, anything I drink is a little shifted to a better spin, so it processes better for you because it's all information. Even the food you eat is information, so it's just processing it to a higher vibration. And you just it. I gotta share one thing. I hope Steve doesn't mind. <laughs> I was wearing the orange crystal for one month, and orange is a relationship crystal, and I was really determined to finally attract and draw to me a, a healthy relationship. So I wore my orange pendant so, um, you know, committedly, you know, and I kept stating my information. I felt these huge shifts spiritually through me where all the old information, uh, old relationships kind of left my body. It was like through this meditation. And um, I saw what it looked like to be in a healthy relationship and I realized I never knew. I never had experienced it. So how am I supposed to find something I don't know? How do you find something you've never experienced, right? And I realize how important our experiences are to us, because we always are for our own experience, right? So I finally saw what it looked like. And then that same message, I got to go to this other place, and I went and I saw another um, couple energetically connecting. And at this time in my life, I knew I had to be with somebody that spiritually understood me and knew I was coming from my heart. Because that's the key, a lot of people you come from your heart, but. You know, it's like hard to be in relationships because, you know, so you have both come from your heart, otherwise you're stopping each other. So anyway, after that meditation happened, seven days later, Steve walked into my booth. <laughs> he walked right into my booth, he was drawn right into my booth, and he's like, what's going on here? <laughs> and I balance tested him, and I felt turquoise, mm -hmm. and he was like, that was like your favorite color was turquoise or something, you really resonated with turquoise. Yes. Nurturing. Uh -oh. Yeah. Aqua color, yeah. And then he came back the next day, and um, my son muscle tested him because my son is um, he's also he's actually been responsible for my um, chakra man and my logos, and and he told me one time, because mom, I could never do what you're doing, 
and he did the graphic design. And then all of a sudden he started wearing the blue crystal for communication. And I ain't kidding you, the weekend I met Steve, he was doing what I was doing. And he actually balance tested Steve the next day. And now Christopher will do shows with me and market with me too. Mm. But um, it's been three years now. Uh, and it's been the most healthiest relationship. I could never imagine it. You know? I'm going to do some color readings. Any volunteers here? Like volunteer? So you want to be first? Okay. And, oh, stand up. It's your muscle testing, the kinesiology. And I asked to put your two feet together. Okay, and then a firm grip on my hand. And right here is where I'm tuning into your field. When I push down, a color usually is like downloaded to me. So just feel your energy. Good grip. Stay strong. I'm pushing down. <laughs> So we're going to do it again, put your feet together, put grip on the hand, you guys feel wow. a little stronger, really strong. <laughs> wow. What did you feel? Well, oh, my felt stronger. Yeah, yeah, right, you're like, you're solid, you're yeah. totally solid. Yeah. More balanced. Yeah. It was very balanced, first of all, but that's the end of the summer. Yeah, because it's structuring you, it's structuring your energy. All your cells are singing yes. Mm -hmm. It's almost like giving your energy field a drink when you're wearing the crystals and the frequencies to this rest and increasing your vibration. So orange is relationships and joint creativity. So yeah, it's very mm -hmm. You forgot one other part. Which part? Sensuality. Sensuality, mm -hmm. the sacral <laughs> chakra. That's my favorite chakra. Um. <laughs> and um, yeah, so you can actually, if you want to just Try it on and just wear it a while while we're still here. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Just play with it. Just play with it. Yeah, we'll be. Oh, who's that? Okay, hello. What's uh, your first name? Michael. Michael. Okay, put your feet together. Archangel Michael. All right. First time, these are my hands. Yeah. Okay. Now I immediately start feeling blue. Do. Yeah, blue is going to feel because of the communication. Get your hand, do it one more time. Get my hand. I used to live a rock. What do you feel? It's good. I like blue. You feel stronger? Just kind of put everything into balance. So it's blue, it's a throw Yeah, it's a throw chakra for communication. It opens you up here. I know she's on that. Yeah, speaking the truth. Yeah. I don't know. You want to try it on for a little bit while okay. you're here? Okay. Play with it, see how it feels while you're sitting down. Thank you. So when I was doing, um, when I first started with the crystals and I was just sharing them because I love them, people were like to me, what is that? And they want to know about it, so I would share them with them. I was doing this muscle test because that's what I was trained, you know, to do in kinesiology. But I wasn't aware myself I was feeling colors. And everybody around me could say, how did you know it was my color? Or, oh, I have stomach problems, you just felt yellow. And I started thinking, well, how do I know? And I started being more aware and watching myself do the test and where my hand went to. And I was realizing I was being drawn to colors. And so I realized something spiritually was happening. I was feeling colors. And I feel like everybody can feel their own color. So that's why I want to teach people how to feel their own color. Because you'll wake up one morning and just know you're supposed to wear blue. And you won't know why. And then all of a sudden you start wearing blue. And you'll like have a situation where you have to speak your truth. Then you go, that's why I was called the word blue. And that's how it works, right? Um, you want to hold the... My pleasure. <laughs> okay, so put your feet together. Okay, um, firm grip on my hand. So tune into your color. And um, push down. The color I'm feeling the strongest is pink. Do you know how hard that would be? I don't think that's a lot of stuff. So we're going to take your hand. Good grip of my hand. Is that really strong? That's right. Yeah, I do. A lot. Yeah, that's a good color for you. Do you feel more than one for her? Oh, or because it would be interesting to also show like how the two colors kind of... See, we're all color. We feel a bit of cherry, but actually helping me out my food. 
So um, do you guys feel any colors that we can try with her too? Green. Or green. Or they're, they're, they're very connected too to the colors. Go into green. You can test them separately. Yeah, because it's really powerful when you start playing. We're going to do just green. Okay, good good my hand. That's green. Wow, that's pretty powerful. Mm -hmm. Uh, try pink and green together because that's a female and a male heart. So we're really, we're really opening up your heart right now. <laughs> but unless playing, I also add orange. Yeah. <laughs> you might as well. Add. Um, put it up to your heart if you don't mind. Just give me a kiss. Just close your eyes for a moment. Wait, no. Wait. Just let us know if you feel anything. I feel more energy. Like a nice subtle energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You feeling any kind of like a, a warmth or like a little burn in the heart area? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I just felt that from you. Yeah. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay, so just hold on for a second. Yeah, you can put them on. <laughs> they can really feel them and see how you like them. Yeah, she's um. We just tested her today. We just tested her today, and she has them again. And she's had the experience for like a few hours. For a few hours, it's been great. I magenta. I'm really sometimes very energized. This kind of put me in a happy energy. Mm -hmm. Very good energy. Not flipping or down, but uh -huh. just even you know, good energy. It's been great. I've enjoyed it. And it made me look younger. I'm 100 years old and I look like this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. And the magenta is universal love, so see you're tuned in now. <laughs> And magenta has red energy and um, purple energy, so it creates it connects you to the earth and it gives you heaven too. So hey, hey, yeah. It's also called our I am present crystal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you are very I present. Remind her. You know, remind <laughs> this is a phone balancer we do, so they do electro pollution. They'll benefit you there yes. around your computer, on your cell phone, when you're wearing the pendant. You definitely will feel stronger. It will not weaken your field. <coughs> and so we also have the phone balancer. That's another one. And then we have we have a house balancer that actually has a copper wire in it. And you put that on your fuse box above your switches. And then we have a new product that's an environmental vortex cone. And it will clear the entire environment in your wow. space. And they're really fun to hold. You can also use them for massage therapy too, because it's a cone. Anyway, Thank you. I think Thank you for bringing this to us. Thank you so us. much. Thank, Thank you, everybody. And um, so thank you for joining us. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.